and the inspiration of my mother's love and how she raised me to be where I am and who I am now. See, everything that I need here, I was trying to express the kind of love she gave me, the kind of comfort I always got from her whenever, anywhere, like how she's been there for me and for who she is. So everything on this painting, I know it's, it looks, it may have another interpretation to some people, but it's something that has something to do with the emotion I have towards my mother. Yeah. Um, the kind of art that she creates, it's out of this world. By just looking at the paintings, it communicates with you, it communicates with your soul. So I know that naturally we, we, we look at the environment around us and we, we have a lot of things to talk about. And looking at the paintings, it can elevate, it can strengthen, it can empower a broken soul. It can motivate someone to, to do better and to be inspired. So it communicates from the soul, the spirit, and also the body, so. I do my art using specific uh, materials like canvas sheets and stretch canvases to produce valuable paintings that are more attractive and uh, appealing to people. I use also acrylic paints and so water soluble colors I apply them on the canvas sheets using brushes of specific of a specific brand and quality so that I can have this kind of works because it's not all brushes and not all paints that can help me make this kind of art. I used to just draw with pencil and make black and white kind of art but then I grew out of it and I fell out of love with it. And now I just basically make paintings. I make the, okay, the kind of art I make is because I'm trying to be unique. I do it like anything, every painting that I produce, I make it in a sense that I know that it will be the only in the world, that it just be my specific kind of art that is not common with other people's works. Like, as we know, we already have a lot of, artist around but I choose to make this kind of art that is unique and rare. My art represents uh, specific occasions like for instance the painting at my back even though it's still a work in progress it's specifically for lockdown. It represents the occasion that we were going through of lockdown and then I make them seasonally depending on what is like known for that specific time, what is happening at that time. But I love making art to relate with people emotionally rather than things that are occurring around. It means uh, a lot of things because somehow it's a, it's a way of healing in, some, in a way that when I get to look at some of the paintings that I made, after making and producing it, I get to relate with the emotion. Let's say, for instance, I feel like I'm crushing inside, and then I create that painting. It's more like I'm taking out the emotion to a page, and then I'm kind of, it's like a healing process to me, rather than just doing it to just display and everything. There are things that are happening around us, Mostly things that are within us, like as we are people and we're walking around, we carry different kinds of beliefs and emotions every day. So I'm trying to just basically search deep within me, display it on paper and try to show people that 
what they are going through is kind of like common and it is known and it is something that people are aware of like me. Actually, I make everything based on how I feel. I don't really get to like, hmm, how what is inspires my creation. <laughs> my emotions actually inspire my creations. Mm -hmm. And trying to talk to people about certain things. What? Communication to with people. I don't know how to put it. Like for instance, this painting that I made of a woman and a child. It's a thing that I was, was kind of trying to spread uh, the kind of suffering that other people are going through. That it is, there are a lot of kids out there that really wish they had mothers. A mother figure, something all happened. And in some ways it is more like trying to communicate. I think my art is not really provoked by, it's not really inspired by a certain person. I'm not inspired to paint because I look up to someone. But believe you me, I do this because of my parents, not because they are artists or something. But I'm driven to produce, to keep going with the art because of them. First of all, they are the people that I want to make proud, try to make a living out of this and restore the riches through this. They are lost the riches. This is how I, I am inspired to keep going. Okay, this one I named it Longing for a Savior. It is because the woman in the picture, she has been beaten down, crushed a lot of times, abused and pulled sideways emotionally, mentally and physically that she has had it. She had had it. So in this case, as it is said, we know that they say the beauty of a woman is on her hair. So the kind of bad emotions she's been going through, the kind of abuse and torment she has gone through, to went to an extent of even starting to consume her beauty away. As you can see, her hair seems to be burning away and it's covered in smoke. So I named it Longing for a Savior. Because as you can see, there's a man that appears in the picture that is not really clear, but he's appearing and then he's crushing and breaking the covers of her darkness away and revealing the beauty behind. It's because of the, the work that she's doing. We, we hardly have female artists that are well known out there. Most of the artists you will meet, they, they are males and this kind of things. So I um, chose her just to offer support and encouragement and make it a point that she meets the right people in the right industry who are doing what she's doing to be inspired to do more.